Welcome back, folks. This is game three of the Western Esports Conference final between University uh, University of California, Santa Barbara, and University of Arizona. Uh, after two hard-fought games, we are left with University of Santa Barbara, uh, University of California, Santa Barbara, sitting at two wins, and University of Arizona sitting at zero. Uh, I am your caster, Aaron, well, one of your casters, Aaron Yodroid Yoder, here with uh, Flag. Ah, that time, that time you remembered my name. I really appreciate I, it's that. Yoda. I forgot it last time. <laughs> are, you, are you sure? I, yes, I'm very sure. How could I forget you? Oh, it's great. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. It's, it's touching. All right, so All look right, at the fans that have come through. Yeah. <laughs> same, same dealios as what we've been seeing really last time. Um, Olaf making a guest appearance into these bands. Uh, I assume from last game was a little too much to deal with. Had had too many occasions on where he lived with absolutely not enough HP to uh, really constitute as should be alive territory. Right, exactly. So that uh, probably was a little frustrating. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like the fact that Olaf was able to run in again and again and again on top of uh, their members probably. Uh, really infuriating. Looks like uh, Bardley trying will pick up the Thresh yet again. Are we going to get the same comp uh, coming out? Of, I mean, I guess if it worked once, it'll work twice. Uh, looks like the Malphite will also be picked up for the side of UC Santa Barbara. Uh, on the opposite side, we do have the Caitlyn Morgana. Looks like it's going to be uh, locked in here. A pretty strong duo in the bot lane, so... Do you think the Caitlyn ban was a misclick? Honestly, no, I don't. I don't think so. Um, I think what might have happened was I mean, because the Caitlyn was extremely useful to uh, University of Arizona in that that first game. Um, did a lot of damage. Was able to do the work it needed to do. But I think what's happening here is uh, UC Santa Barbara is shifting their priorities away from shutting down ADC Nguyen and looking more at uh, trying to cover their bases. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Arizona banned out Caitlyn last game. Uh, I don't think so. If it had been a misclick, well, because if it had been a misclick, uh, we would have been able to go back. Like, they most likely I would guess. have uh, they restarted. Have said they did want to. Yeah. Um, hmm. But uh, that's Jin actually being picked up for Can't Carry. Uh, powerhouse, we'll see how he uses that. Did really well in the Tristana last game. Uh, the aggression there was nearly unbearable. This is a bit of a different look for UC Santa Barbara though. Um, still can be very aggressive, but you don't have Can't Carry being able to have open access to the back line now. Uh, I do like the respectful ban of uh, the Anguished Ones gangplank, uh, so I think that's a pretty smart move overall. Hmm. Apparently, uh, that's that's some interesting information. They wanted to pull another card out of the deck there for yeah. uh, Dog Impersonator. Say, so, hey, Joker's Blood. Um, that's not actually a thing, I don't think. Uh, Rise, also being picked up here. That's worth mentioning for Meteors. Uh, Cho'Gath looks like it's going to be banned out from uh, UC Santa Barbara. That also going on. And see, here's what I think they're doing, right? So they use those last two bands to target specifically the Anguished one. Because he honestly, in the past couple of games, has played extremely well in comparison to... Uh, some of the other members of his team. And so I think you see Santa Barbara is looking at that and saying, okay, listen, let's focus where we need to. We need to uh, try to get uh, the anguished one onto something he's not comfortable with and then move from there. Because I feel like the bot lane of Can't Carry and Bardley Trying are fairly confident in their ability to be able to shut down ADC and win and scat man, no problem. Definitely, well, and especially after uh, the previous match. Yeah. And even uh, even looking at the first match, Scatman took a lot of damage, pretty much no reason. So, ooh, this could be an Irelia pick, though. 
And it is coming through for the anguished one. Uh, now it is also God the King picking up the Zack, uh, following the lead. Yikes, that is a nocturne going on to Silvati, by the way. So we can expect to see some uh, darkness coming in from the Master of the Jungle there. Probably uh, trying. Mm -hmm. or Oriana not banned out. Oh, well, but LeBlanc seems to be coming down. I was going to say Oriana not banned out, so they could elect to go Oriana again. And they do have a lot of, uh, well, or Vladimir. I guess Vladimir is okay. I mean, they have a lot of play there, and I think the Vladimir actually might be a better pick into the rise. I understand why they were kind of probably thinking about picking up the LeBlanc, but the Vladimir might be a better idea here. Um, mm -hmm. So you get the Flash Proto Belt down. Uh, they can get Vladimir onto the back line, get it sitting on ADC Nguyen, and they should be able to take K uh, ADC Nguyen out so... with little to no trouble. I'm really okay. I guess they have plenty of time to set their loadout up. These swaps are driving me insane, though. Absolutely, this is they're, they're hurting my heart. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I really wanted that a uh, a top lane thrush, huh? Oh, I wanted a lot of things. Hold your breath. Ah, uh, oh, okay. All right. Well, never mind. All right. All right. Yeah, there you go. So spectator delay kind of kicking on. Um, same deal that we always do kind of during this little uh, lull in the action. You had right, which way do you think this game's going to go? You think Arizona's got a chance to to start the reverse sweep? Or do you think it goes 3-0 in uh, Santa Barbara's favor for the uh, WEC finals? If University of Arizona can get their stuff, get, get the, all of their stuff together, and sit back and it looks like that's what they're doing they're going to sit back they're going to try to respect what's going on with uh uc uh ucsb and um just build up to their critical point i think they stand a chance because the reality is nocturne is not great unless nocturne actually is able to pull off plays if university of arizona can exploit that weakness they may have a pretty good chance because it's not like the first game was actually misplayed. It was just that they didn't have all of the tools available. With that said, UC Santa Barbara is playing an extremely aggressive comp, which they've showed again and again that they are very good at playing. They're confident, and they're mechanically gifted. So, with that said, I am going to tentatively give my vote over to UC Santa Barbara. Specifically because, I mean, we, we've seen in this conference how well they can play a snowball comp. Well, I mean, you're, you're kind of jumping the gun again. We still haven't seen skins. <laughs> Good That's point. Very... Nocturne is completely invalid unless they're wearing the sheet. Unless it's just the, the spooky Nocturne. <laughs> doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And for all you people here that think that Eternum Nocturne is better, I challenge you to fisty cuffs. You this is lose. on my honor. I, no, I lose. will not. Like, so here's because... the thought process. Here's the thought okay. process. Okay. So Go Eternium Nocturne goes to fight Spooky Nocturne. Uh, Eternium right. Nocturne can't hit Spooky Nocturne because Spooky Nocturne's a ghost. <laughs> exactly. So spooky how, do you, how do you feel about that? Spooky Nocturne's superior. I think Just you, like I that. See See, I think you just proved me right, and thank you for backing up here. Not a problem. That's I got nice your back. I got your back. Part. Also, um, <laughs> no, uh, no exhaust yet again. I don't think there's – was there exhausts in game two? Uh, not from uh, – no, actually not from uh, either side. Uh, yeah, so because mid lane took the cleanse. There hasn't really been a reason to take it. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, UC Santa Barbara isn't going to take it because they're trying to be extremely <laughs> lane. Um, I'm not sure why we wouldn't see it out of University of Arizona. Kind of sad I kinda... that I didn't get to see Leona yet. I like Leona. Yeah. Just the way she dives into people. Just stands there. It's just great. Clenches. There it is. There it is, Silvati fan service. Thank you. Thank you, my There dude. we go. 
the um, only skin that matters in this game. Uh, oh, besides uh, pumpkin head fiddlesticks, fiddlesticks, but you know. Also a skin that I own. Oh, it's great. Um, uh, thank you. Yep. So Santa Barbara uh, have the have the upper hand this game, just uh, just from skins, skin vantage alone. Yeah. Also coral reef malphite, a very very underrated skin. Mm-hmm. Very well done. Good job, Riot. Uh, just uh, a very very good under the sea rated skin. Under the sea. Under, under the, the sea. sea. Darling, it's better. Down with. Uh, well, I should probably stop before we, we get sued. Okay. Um, <laughs> I said word, okay. So I used the wrong word. Oh, this is I a five man invade on the oh, bot here side. Here we go. Here we go. See, this is where the shenanigans start. The team gets confident and they start going ham. All right, but looks they like they know. They've been spotted. spotted. No. Yeah, there's the flash coming out of Bardley trying. Uh, so Vadi taking a decent amount of damage. They're going to go ahead and back off. They tried to make it happen. Didn't happen. So they're just going to uh, return back to their original plan. Uh, a little bit of uh, BM getting flashed there. Um, now I'm interested to see how this goes. It's 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 fun to see the, uh, the shift in mentality for teams, especially when they're playing something like a, a five-game series. Con- consecutive losses can really have an effect on how well you play, uh, but so can consecutive wins. And so seeing something like that, like it's such a change from the first game where they were being so uh, tiptoe-ish around everything, to now UC Santa Barbara is just charging in, uh, trying to invade. Yeah, Santa Barbara definitely, definitely feeling a lot more confident after their, uh, their their consecutive victories, it seems. Um, how do you feel? How do you feel Aurelia plays out in that matchup against Malphite? Uh, I gotta be honest. I have not seen all of that much Aurelia played, and I really don't play top lane that much. So, I I don't know. Um, I think that Malphite has the possibility of coming out on top. Uh, if ju- just from the standpoint that Liquid Kool Aid is going to build straight armor against it, um, but we'll see. I do, I do definitely favor uh, the Anguish one in this top lane matchup, though, just because of just strictly performance. Well, yeah, that's so that's great. my Ooh. Life. Okay, we got we got that one. We got that half in. So uh, meteors against uh, dog impersonator. How do you how do you feel? Rise plays against Vladimir. Just we'll just, uh, run it, we'll just run it down. Vladimir does come up on top. Um, so even though you have Rise and and it does kind of depend on the way that uh, the players play. So oh, uh, going to the top lane though. Looks like anguished one Oof. is going to end up trying to go in. Uh, not quite able to finish off the kill on the liquor Kool Aid, but does drop very low. Now it's going to be God the King jumping in on top of liquor Kool Aid, forced to flash away. God the King will have his passive popped. Uh, There's a couple little wobblets dropped in the ground. Uh, liquor Kool Aid wants to try to pick up the remains, but um... that will be baited by the anguished one. Yikes. Calculated. <laughs> you think? Um, no, yeah, that, but yeah, yeah, calculated. Yeah, that seems like I'm a bait. Oh, uh, no, but Vladimir does lose early in the matchup. Um, but excuse me. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, after level three, Vladimir really starts taking off. Oh, dog impersonator though, uh, oh. taking down a little bit. We'll have that potion pop in the help. I guess he still bit. has his W. Uh huh. Exactly. He could have, but you can't pull out of a already dropped down. Oh. Hello. Flash late. Hello. <laughs> Well, uh, after that fail flash in the mid lane, um, yeah, you can't actually flash out of a, um, or you can't pull out of an ignite. The ignite will still be ticking and you'll still take the damage for it. But that is going to be a kill going over to the side of University of Arizona and the Dragon Stolen can't carry. It's going to end up going down. Sloppy plays all over the place. Dog Impersonator now trying to back off 
A uh, lot of damage coming through. That is going to be an obvious advantage coming through for University of Arizona. Arizona just getting away with like a king's ransom right there. <laughs> Kingdoms have been founded on less. Like basically stealing the dragon and then grabbing three kills for nothing. I mean, like, at that point, it looks like, honestly, it looks like UNIC Santa Barbara is not, wasn't even trying there, which seems, it hurts. It hurts to see that, uh, but, you yeah, no, like, like, like sandbagging, just, just all of a sudden, just, like, not, not invested in winning the finals. They did, uh, start that dragon with God the King being pretty low health, so, like, I don't think, I don't, and they, they hadn't placed any wards really, I don't know, either way, I mean, University of Arizona did play that very, did play that very well, and came out on top, and I think that's the important part here, is that like, that's something that's going in the University of Arizona's pocket, um, so we'll see how the rest of it goes, oh, danger pings coming up from University of Arizona, but the anguish one's gonna go ahead and ignore that, looks like he's just going in for these minions, uh, Ooh. They're gonna land the stun onto Liquor nice. Kool Aid and it's Team, but show. yeah. Yikes. Alright, the uh, Realm Warp coming in from the mid lane. Looks like Meteor's really trying to get out of this. Meteor's gonna end up picking up the kill onto Liquor Kool Aid. That is a return kill. Uh, that's gonna make it a one for one in the top lane for the side of uh, University of Arizona. But uh, something to add that is also a. Um, and assist going over to the jungler, so technically they come out on top. Hmm. That, uh, that seems like it was gonna be, like, luckily, uh, God the King showed up once again in time, like he did game one, to, to sort of cover and stop Meteors from getting, I don't know, slaughtered after that ultimate. Yeah, he kind of came in to save the day, um... I'm, obviously, it wasn't necessarily planned that he would be up there, and I don't think that it was wise for Meteors to take that Realm Warp in regardless. Yeah, I agree. That that ultimate was a little sketchy. Um, I mean, it worked out for him, but it was sloppy. That, uh, was, the, right, that was the time out of 10. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ooh, oh, it looks like the ultimate down. coming out of the Anguished one. Liquor Kool-Aid dropping pretty low will end up being popped. Uh, the rock, uh, the rock wall being chiseled away by the anguish one. Uh, it's gonna be another kill going over to the side of University of Arizona. Yeah, just whittled away until uh, she could finish off that kill with blade surge. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, meanwhile on the bot side, you do have God the King preparing for a gank. Looks like. So body coming in from the jungle uh, will jump underneath tower will be picked off by God the King. Now it is Bardley trying to be pulled under, but can't carry is going to pick up a kill of his own onto the support. Uh, Dog impersonator is now uh, being bullied a little bit in the river. Will be forced to back off. Can't carry is pretty healthy right now. So uh, if God the King wants to, he can try to swing in there to pick something up. But it looks like. Uh, can't carry gonna play that smart and back off. Man, just uh, Arizona sort of in the driver's seat this game. Maybe not as uh, maybe not as in control of this game as Santa Barbara was the last one, but right. they have uh, they have a pretty decent gold advantage. Um, Anguished one is definitely winning his lane out against Liquor Kool Aid too. Absolutely. Um, yeah. See, what I'm seeing out of these fights is really it's interesting because it looks like UC Santa Barbara is just throwing them away. Silvati didn't have to jump in on a uh, ADC Nguyen. Didn't have to at all. Uh, he didn't have really any items built that would have suggested that he could have been able to take a fight. It looks like Silvati now going to be caught out a little bit. The Spell Shield will keep some of the damage off. Uh, God the King going to be spooked away, backing off a little bit. Um, but yeah, no, like it, it would just seem like a reckless dive. And now looking at this top, uh, top, top side fight a little bit, 
Liquor Kool Aid is behind a decent amount. He's already playing Mouth Fight, so it's going to be difficult. But he's only got 37 farm as compared to uh, two kills and 82 farm from the Anguished One. So there's a lot of damage that the Anguished One has up on him. I may have spoken too soon, though, because Silvati is now coming in. There is uh, a lot of damage coming oh, it's down. Not enough. The Anguished One uh, going to pick up a lot of damage and end up finishing off the top laner. Uh, now looks like Silvati coming oh in for a lot more goodness. damage. But there we go. The double kill coming through uh, oh. for the Anguished One. But from the... Ah, from the mid lane, Dog Burster comes in, jumps into the bush. It's going to be the ultimate coming down from him. Now it looks like the Anguished One and God the King trying to finish this guy off. But, all right, there goes, down goes the vampire from the mid lane. Uh, yeah. Um, I, no. Great. Yo, droid, Hemo Mage. Oh. Oh, Humo Mage? Is that what it is now? I think so. He's like a Blood yeah. Mage. He's not actually right. a vampire, though. Okay. Well, he's doing a pretty good job of pretending. Yeah. <laughs> but he's not, he is not a vampire. Okay, well, I guess, well, I mean, I guess that's that's fair considering Warwick isn't technically a werewolf. So, Riot, you can do whatever you want, it's fine. Um, just, just leave Nosferatu out of this, okay? Uh, and looking down the bot side now, ADC Nguyen is doing pretty well in this match. Mm -hmm. Uh, takes a lot of damage from that, but um, overall he's able to return it pretty well. Ooh, Silvati being oh, caught out here a little bit. Flash is coming out from Meteors, and Silvati. Silvati going to use that trail to try to create a little bit of distance. Now Meteors and uh, God the King going to use the Realm Warp to get out of a sticky situation as uh, three members of UC Santa Barbara come in to uh, dissuade uh, any more fighting. That's oh. That was beautiful. The Anguished being one is doing Anguished such one. a good job on landing those stuns <laughs> at that max range. It's, it's really it's beautiful. Oh man, ADC win forced to flash away. So body tries to uh, get a little bit fresh with the sniper. Uh, Dog impersonator going to use the uh, that pool to try to get out of there now. Yeah, going golden with just a little bit of health left gets picked off in the end by meteors. And uh, God the King is going to give some mid lane priority to them. They may be able to pick up mid lane turret. The Anguish one doing some work of his own. Yeah, uh, they don't the pick side. up mid. I think top then falls instead. Like, oh, um, there is so a dead meteors. <clears throat> Getting pummeled by rocks and then scared a half completely to death. Um, oh, hey, look. Hey, look. First turret. Maybe we should discuss first turret falling. <laughs> okay, go for it. It's all yours. Uh, Aurelia took first turret. Wait, like, she's gonna be even scarier now. Alright, now we've discussed it. Hopefully I won't bring it up again later. <laughs> I mean, well, first turret's already gone, yeah? Oh, and there is the steel coming through. Uh, going over to, actually, uh, Scatman. Now it looks like they'll pick up a kill of their own onto Sil's body. Now, oh, oh the ultimate from the Anguished One will end up spelling the end for Bardley trying. He looks like he might be Bardley trying. Oh, um, man. Now, Dog Impersonator falls in the end of that fight. That is, yes, yeah, three for not uh, in favor of the side of University of Arizona. And he, what looked like a very easy dragon steal for uh, University of Arizona. That is a very, very big Aurelia right now. At seven and seven and one. Yikes. 7 yeah, I mean, one with twice the CS of a uh, Malphite, like double yikes. That's that's terrifying. Um, like, I mean, this is going to be bot lane turf for them too. I'm wondering how much gold she just has right now in the bank. She's got her Trinity Force and Tiamat. I mean, they're definitely going to be able to finish uh, their Ravenous Hydra with that at least. So that's going to be, that's it's a lot of gold going over to them. Um, at this point, I'd wager the Anguish one could 1v2 most members on UC Santa Barbara. She went for the, uh... Titanic? No, 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 no. She didn't finish another item. Oh. She started to build the, uh... 
the little. The oh, gotcha, okay. Right, thing. right. Uh, Jarm's fist. Uh -huh. uh, well, Jarm's fist builds into. Uh, hey guys, how are you guys out there? Yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah. Uh, Alright, oh. well, looks oh, like. Oh, get away! Whoa, alright, a well more, a brilliantly timed well more from uh, Meteors will end up getting him out. Can't carry, looks like he's really thirsty for that kill on ADC Nguyen, who will end up flashing Q and away from danger. So Body looking for a little uh, bit more action so on Meteors. So Body's in danger too. Bam, gets popped by the uh, Rune Mage. Uh, that is gonna be another kill going over to the pocket of uh, University of Arizona. Uh, now it looks like uh, on the bot side, University of Santa Barbara oh might collapse, but doesn't really matter since uh, Anguish One just got a kill onto Liquor Kool Aid under Tower. Now it looks like Bartley trying to pick up a kill of his own onto ADC Nguyen. In from the side, you do have the God, or God the King, uh, coming in for a little bit of action himself. He's gonna oh miss that. Oh no! But... You have Aurelia coming down right now, and they have no clue. Oh jeez, can't carry being oh, killed off be almost immediately by the God the King. Yikes! Oh, these English one stuns still super impressive. Yeah, these are. I, for a pocket pick, this is brilliant. I mean, like, he's been able to land those suns so consistently. I really want to play Irelia now. I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. Like, I'm, I'm queuing into a match as we speak. Like, <laughs> like the, the way he's able to uh, uh, honestly thread those stuns onto the enemy team is really saving his, his team a lot right now. Um, Not to mention giving him just so many windows to just go in and like an annihilate um, liquor Kool Aid, right? Or anybody and anybody I mean, that tries to help him in the process. Yeah, exactly. And right now they're gonna go ahead and try to take this Rift Herald. They're gonna probably drop that onto the uh, top or mid lane and take those down. Uh, as soon as that is done, liquor Kool Aid looks like he could be in a little bit of trouble. Meteors grab jumps onto him. The uh, oh, and Unstoppable and Force jumps onto Meteors, but he's going to be picked up by ADC Nguyen. Now ADC Nguyen in trouble for the splash away. Oh, my bad. Scatman going down first. The Anguished One does pick up the kill on Silvati, though. They're going to continue to chase the Dog Impersonator and decide to back off now. They can drop that Rift Herald mid uh, after they decide to go back and kill it. They've still got uh, three minutes to take that out, so should be able to make quick work of that with just 82 Nguyen. Uh, the really, it does now have her Titanic finish, by the way. So Trinity Force and Titanic Hydra, um, probably around 16 minutes in the game. Mm -hmm. That's that's absolutely terrifying. Yeah. Uh, see, that's where that drama supposed to went. We should have really, we should have seen that one coming. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no, uh, I, that's that's a really really scary. I mean, right now the Anguish one is sitting at 9-1 and two with 147 farm. Uh, so, like, what I was saying earlier about them being able to 1v2 anybody on the team, they absolutely can now. Uh, and there's the Rift Herald being summoned on the, uh, well, on the bottom side of the map. It looks like uh, the Anguish one is just going to go ahead and try to walk that thing on up and uh, protect it as it would be uh, all the way through the top lane. So She's, uh, she's going to protect as he attack. Yeah, exactly. And also, uh -huh. assuming make a snack. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, all right, so it's about it out in the river now. You've got uh, three members of University of Arizona. I think now would probably be a good time to take a break and really talk about um, what we're seeing here as far as macro play for these teams. Ooh. It would be if we could get them to slow down a little bit. Uh, looks there's like no slowing down for anguished when there's only kill. Absolutely. Oh, oh, but will it be kill or will it be death? Looks no, like it's it kill, kill and death. death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, an infer second infer or eight infernal Drake going over to the side of uh, University of Arizona. The Rift Herald won't be quite as effective as the anguished one would have liked it to be, but. Honestly, he didn't ward, so what can you expect? Um, yeah, I, he's still able to do so much damage even while taking a lot. 
And uh, I think that's got to be really terrifying for uh, University of Santa Barbara or UC Santa Barbara right now. Well, he's definitely only one tank item away from being raid bossed here. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, that next item, uh, do you know anything about uh, Irelia's current build? Honestly, this is the first time that I'm really seeing anybody play her. I know for a little bit in the uh, ASO organization, she was banned um, just for uh, as soon as she got released, just for uh, time to be able to make sure that all the bugs were worked out of her, as the case would be. Um, meanwhile, on the boss side, I mean, yeah, um, the split push potential from this Irelia right now is uh, pretty scary. So that's going to be fun for UC Santa Barbara to deal with. Um, well, it looks like Bardley, Bardley trying in Sovati will find out God the King, but not a lot coming to that. They don't exactly want to jump in on God the King or anybody, um, knowing that uh, at this point I mean, they have a fairly underleveled Sylvati. Uh, oh, flash oh, wow. the top lane. Uh, and on the bot side, we have Dog Impersonator uh, being jumped upon by uh, Anguish One. On the top side, Sylvati gets dropped pretty low. Uh, not quite able to be finished off there by Meteors. But then Scatman is going to go down as well. But on the bot side, the Anguished One does pick up the kill on the Dog Impersonator in the end. He's going to probably also take this bot tower as well. Uh, and that's going to be a kill and a tower for his team uh, to trade for what happened in the top lane. So I, the man with no fear uh, looks like he wants to go toe to toe with uh, this Nocturne a little bit. Can this can this raid boss be stopped? Can like, he, can he, really? If you I mean, they have to get the quest item first. That's true. Yeah, they haven't even tried yet, so we'll see. We shall see. All right, so there's gonna be any quest items. I don't know. Zach's also having a really sneaky good game too. Uh huh. God, the king is playing really well, being up like I jump in from oh, see like that. Yeah, jump in and be a be a terror. Also, had a really uh really good play earlier where he queued one of the members of Santa Barbara and then finished the queue off with the plant, the uh, the HP plant in the huh. the river. To, to pull him back towards towards his team. Well, towards yeah. whoever was ganking with him. It was really it was really impressive. I always like, love seeing uh, little innovative plays like that. Ooh. Oh, the flash coming out of Can't Carry knows that. <laughs> honestly, if he gets jumped on by God the King, it is a death sentence. So uh, mm -hmm. probably a good idea to just bust that flash there, and save uh, save himself for later. The only um, issue is like now, what form of escape does does he have any longer? Absolutely oh. not. Oh, but it looks like Harley trying is gonna come in. So body uh, gonna end up not picking up the kill on to anguish one, but now Scatman is in trouble. Pops the ultimate to try to save his save himself. Got the king now looking for more damage. Oh. It's gonna be easy to win and picking up that kill there. Now dog dog impersonator uh, gets dropped by uh, meteors. Uh, meanwhile, can't carry oh. going very low gets popped. Almost in, in two auto attacks from ADC Nguyen. Uh, they're going to continue chasing onto Bardley trying, but it looks like they just want this tower, so they'll wait for their minions to take this one out. Hmm. Yikes. Um, just just uh, Arizona still, like, still showing that they're ahead right there. Uh, is it just me, or does it seem like uh, UC Santa Barbara is trying a little bit? Uh, I mean, they might be trying a little bit, but yeah. I think the damage has already been done. I think so um, too. Yeah. Like the right, right then and there, you had you had uh, Anguish One going down early. Exactly what you want. You you don't want Anguish One anywhere near the team fight. Right, um, exactly. And and so you get the early pick onto them, and you still end up, uh, end up, not winning the fight. Yeah, I I mean, so now, 
now I think is when it gets a little bit tricky, um, especially for UC Santa Barbara. So if they do want to stay in this game, um, they're going to have to be careful because the English one does have teleport available. So if they do get into a fight or decide to um, uh, disengage from something, they have to make sure that they're sweeping behind them and that the English one doesn't have an entry point into it. Uh, because if the English one is able to teleport into that fight, that will turn it immediately. All right, it looks like another jump onto the Anguish one on the top oh. side. Uh, yeah. yeah, gets popped by four members of uh, UCSB. Uh, yeah, they'll, they'll pick up uh, the top laner from Arizona. Meanwhile, University of Arizona goes ahead and takes that uh, air drake for themselves. Dog impersonator. Yikes, dropping really low underneath 18 win of Meteors. Yeah, I think you see Santa Barbara's catching on to a pretty good way to uh, make sure that U of A is limited in what they're allowed to do here. Yeah. Um, and I mean, like, you know, posturing around Baron. Right. Uh, uh, both teams are kind of buying this division here. Yeah. Well, you know, we can we can look at that with the fog of war vision. Ooh. Ooh. Um, right now, has, it's red has no vision. Yeah. That's, that's, that's basically the answer to that question. And they had tried to place a lot of vision, but there's some pretty proactive, like the uh, uh, Red Ward there being placed by uh, Scatman to weed out the rest of the vision that was sitting in uh, Baron Pit. Mm -hmm. um, once again, there they go, clearing it out. Um, yeah, it looks like U of A not trying to take any chances here when it comes to this Baron. They want this, and they will most likely they want to um, really stay in the game because Silvati is starting to look a little bit scary with his item um, if he's able to get onto the right now. So that could that could be a little bit of trouble. Um, as long as U of A is taking these team fights uh, correctly, they should have absolutely no problem winning. I mean, they're sitting at a 10,000 gold lead. Uh, yeah, and they have they have superior objective uh, control with getting uh, getting dragon all the dragons that they have and this right. successful oh, bear. Oh, so the coming too. in. He's gonna end up falling underneath meteors. Uh, but I mean, University of Arizona ticks up that. Uh... Oh wow! All right, liquor Kool Aid. Diving in, the unstoppable force coming oh. in on the anguished one. There is the snare coming out for Can't Carry, and that is going to be the end of the anguished one going down underneath three members of uh, UC Santa Barbara. Um, they have definitely been picking up super hard. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, they want him. Yikes. Uh, yeah, God the King trying to do a little bit of damage there. Ooh. Oh, Meteors with a huge amount of damage. Uh, you know, like the uh, Realm Warp won't do a whole lot, but Scatman uh, jumping on the backside, trying to pick up on Bartley trying. Bartley trying not be able to get anything there, but it will be the mid lane turret that will end up falling underneath oh. the University of Arizona. They'll pick up an inhibitor as well to match. Looks like Silvati wants, oh, that massive crit coming out. Bartley trying, not gonna die there, but uh, yikes, the amount of damage that's coming out of AC, ADC win right now is terrifying. That was yeah, a half health crit. Sort of the damage that I was expecting Nguyen to be able to uh, to dish out with the, the Infernal Drakes from game one. Mm -hmm. um, and it's funny because he was able to put that out, but there weren't enough uh, squishies on the side of UC Santa Barbara for it to matter. Mm -hmm. Like, this so body is. Uh, yeah, I was this just game gonna say, this game stuff. much different. <laughs> well, it is. I mean, like, with the comp that they that uh, UC Santa Barbara drafted, they didn't actually try to snowball anything at all. Oh, man, it looks like the coolest. Uh, get hit yet again. It looks like 
The Anguish oh one gonna pick up goodness. one kill for himself. Stuff there though. Uh, goes golden as Silvati comes in for the kill. Will end up being propped there by Dog Damn. Impersonator. Meanwhile, on the bot side, uh, God the King gonna go ahead and tank this turret for his team as Meteors comes in to try to uh, help him out with that. Also, Scatman coming in. Uh, from the back side. Now, uh, they could try to disengage here, but it looks like they're gonna go to ahead and take a fight. Uh, that is two members of Half Health, a Golden Soul body, trying to get out of that. Looks like Flash away from Dog Impersonator, and it will be the passive pops uh, from the jungler of U of A. Dog Impersonator doing a pretty good job of trying to keep his carry safe. Oh my goodness, Meteors will end up picking up that kill, though. Yikes, that is absolutely brutal. That is one tower, two towers going down. And the GG is coming out. out. GG being thrown up everywhere. That is a game taken off of uh, UC Santa Barbara. U of A staying in this fight uh, with a really well executed game. Yikes. Uh, man, ADC Nguyen, don't underestimate him when you get, when you put, when he puts his hands on Caitlyn. Yeah, definitely, definitely never, never fun to sleep on Caitlyn whenever she gets anywhere near a full build. Um, also, also mega props to Anguished One's early game, early yeah. and mid game on Aurelia right there. Uh, definitely made, made Santa Barbara spend way too many resources.